What's up guys? I just got back from Super Bowl 57 in Phoenix, Arizona with one of my best friends and we had an unbelievable experience and what a game. But today I want to talk to you about the three financial freedom lessons that I learned from attending the Super Bowl live for the second time. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and I'm excited to talk to you about these three distinctions that stuck out to me during the game. But first I must say as an Eagles fan, disappointed in the outcome. We hear a lot of, you know, what what could have happened and what did happen and what wasn't a penalty but doesn't really matter and if you're not a football fan that's okay but I want to talk to you about the lessons that I took away or that stood out to me for others that are on their path to financial freedom and what they can do to help accelerate that or to have an experience or a taste of what that's like of financial freedoms like so that you can have that a lot sooner so let's jump in the first one is you have to do it first class do not cut corners Okay, I learned this from my buddy who I went with, Brian James. He always, since I've met him, has always set the standard to do it first class. And so this time it was my turn to buy the tickets. He bought when we went in 2018, I bought this time. And so what happened was we got uh, front row seats almost. We literally were on the, I think it was 26 rows from the field awesome experience now that comes with a hefty price tag right we paid tens of thousands of dollars for these tickets because we wanted to have that close-up experience now we also looked and said hey if we were on the first row you could barely see anything we went down there and I may put some footage in here where you could see being that close like front row it's hard to see anything but where we were it was absolutely perfect we could see the entire field it was an awesome experience however it wasn't just about us going and getting great seats. What we did is we made a family experience out of this. My wife and two kids, we flew down to San Diego and we actually spent time with my buddy's family and at their place for the entire weekend. We went out, I think, Thursday and we came back Monday. And so what happened was though, we left Saturday to go to the game, right? And so my buddy has this great decked out sprinter van. I'll have to show you a video. Hopefully you guys can see it here. And what happened was we hired a friend of ours to drive us to the Super Bowl and back. So we were watching, you know, sports highlights. We were talking business. We were talking about financial freedom. We were talking about the game, having drinks, food. It was an awesome experience. And then on the way back, we got to do the same thing. We even got time to sleep watch some shows, just whatever could pass time. So we had a first class experience getting out there. We stayed at the JW Marriott, which he got us a room since I paid tens of thousands of dollars for the tickets. He took that on. And so we ate food. We connected with, you know, all the Eagles fans. We connected with Chiefs fans and heckled them a little bit, even though they came out on top, but it was still a fun experience, right? We did it first class. We did not hold back. And that's a lesson that I learned from him, but also the way we did it this Super Bowl was different than how maybe I would have done it 10 years ago. I would have been looking at how much am I spending and how can I cut corners and costs. All right, Joe, how does this relate to business? Well, how it relates is that most of the time when you're looking to hire hire someone, buy an asset, or invest in marketing, whatever it is, we tend to cut costs or cut corners and not have a first class experience, right? And so you wanna make sure that as you're building your path to financial freedom, you find people that are A plus people, you get the best assets, the best marketing, whatever you need, don't cut costs. Because one lesson I've always learned is, don't if you can't afford to do it right the first time, you can't afford to go back and do it right the second time. Yes, do you feel like you're paying more in the beginning? Absolutely, but trust me, it is worth it when you pay an expert or you buy that asset or software or coaching or marketing, whatever it might be, and you do it right because you can't afford to do it again. Do it first class. Create a first class experience, not only in what you do, like we did at the Super Bowl, but also in your business and how you treat your clients or your employees. Make sure it's first class. All right, number two is competition is healthy. Comparison is not. So as I was watching the Super Bowl and watching these two teams compete, they weren't comparing against each other. Who's a better quarterback? Who's a better offensive lineman and receiver? No, they were out there competing. They were doing something that was healthy. I even saw it with Chiefs fans and Eagles fans, right? Our chants going back and forth. I don't really know what the Chiefs chants are, but we know what the Eagles are. So anyway, 
But competition is healthy. Now, when you're on your path to financial freedom, one thing you gotta understand is if you have a competitor around you, or maybe it's someone in the same industry, but they don't live around you, or they're doing a similar business, that competition can be extremely healthy. Why? Because it makes you wanna become better. It makes you wanna do a better job of what you're delivering to your employees or your clients or your customers, right? We need competition. It's not like, I do not believe that everyone gets a trophy for winning. Look at the Super Bowl. The Eagles did not get a trophy for losing the Super Bowl, right? And in life, we're teaching our children how to get trophies for just showing up. And that is not the truth when you're out there in the marketplace because you don't get trophy. You don't get money just for being in the marketplace. You have to win. You have to compete against your competition. That's extremely healthy. But what kills a business owner and what could kill you on your path to financial freedom, not literally, metaphorically, is when you try to compare yourself to other people. I'm not as smart as him. I can't speak as good as Tony Robbins. I don't look as good as them. I don't have the nicest clothes. I don't have this camera. I don't have this. I don't have that. When you start to compare, that is the death of your confidence. And if you're going to be able to go out there and deliver to the marketplace and customers and clients, you got to make sure you're confident in what you're bringing because they are going to pay, okay, hear me clearly, they are going to pay for your product or service, which is gonna help accelerate you to financial freedom. If you don't like competition, then you shouldn't be in the marketplace because it's all about competition. But if you allow yourself to fall victim to that spiraling down staircase that says, you know what, you're not as good, this or that, whatever it might be, you are gonna find yourself not at the level you should be to deliver to your clients or customers. I'm telling you, I've been down that path. It is not healthy, it is not good for you, and it makes and takes an effect on who you're working with. So cut that out and embrace competition. Don't shy from it, lean into it because you're gonna grow, you're gonna become more, you're gonna become better. And as a result, when you deliver results to the marketplace, being at the best at what you do, you're gonna get paid a lot more, which accelerates your path to financial freedom. Does that make sense? All right, number three is making memories is more important than money. And so what do I mean by that? I learned this lesson probably about four or five years ago that memories are more important than money because I really, over in my early and late 20s, I really just thought about, oh, I gotta make all this money. I wanna, you know, I wanna be rich, I wanna be wealthy, I wanna be free. And I wanted it because of the things that I wanted it for, right? And then what I've learned over the years is actually I want to make money because I want to be able to help other people have certain experiences, right? Like people that can't afford to go to the Super Bowl, I want to be able to buy a ticket for them or they can't afford new tires for their car. I want to be able to gift that to them. I want to be a blessing because I'm blessed, right? And the only way that you're able to be a blessing to other people is putting your hand to the plow and making things happen. So if you're working at W2 and you have a business idea, work it on the side so you can create create financial freedom, right? Or if you do have a business, make sure you're putting the time and energy necessary to get that thing up off the ground and to start becoming a money-making machine for you so that you can invest in assets like real estate that will pay you passive income so that you can have this secure income for the most part, not 100%, nothing is, but you can have that income over time. And so anyway, I learned that making memories is more important than the money, right? I would sacrifice the memories. I wouldn't go on trips because I didn't want to spend the money. Or if we did, I would. I used to go and do it, you know, like third class and not first class. I would say, what's the cheapest hotel? What's the cheapest car? What's the cheapest food, right? Like, I would always look at bare minimum and how little I could spend if I even went on the trip or the event or whatever it might be at all. What I wanna tell you is even though going to the Super Bowl was an unbelievable experience, I'm grateful for the money, even though my team lost, even are grateful for the memory and even though I spent the money, I'm here to say I will carry that memory with me forever. It was a first class experience that I will always be able to say, reflect and call upon as a moment of a gratitude and appreciation in my life versus, hey, how much did I spend? Because think about this, whenever you had to put out a large sum of money or, or a bill to something, what did you do? You probably got a little worked up maybe, but after a while, you totally forgot about it. You're not sitting there being like, oh man, I can't remember, forget eight years ago, I spent you know three grand on fixing this car and it's just, oh, I can't get over it. No, you eventually get over it, right? So money comes and goes. The lesson here is money 
is not as important as memories. And that's why my wife and I, we take our kids on trips all the time. That's why we go on trips. That's why we invest in ourselves and experiences and events. We want to make memories not just money. Money makes memories happen, and that's why you gotta get financially free, but the second part of this is, do you have the time to make those memories, right? If you're actively working in a job or your small business, nothing's wrong with that, but you wanna make sure that you're moving towards getting free. And I'm not just talking financially free, but time freedom. Because I know a lot of people, they make six, seven figures a year, but they have no time, like none. And so what they need to do is they need to buy back their time. They gotta hire, they gotta leverage, and I talked about that in other videos, and we'll go into more detail in the future, but here's the deal. You want to have time. I remember back in the day when I was in Amway, we would talk about when I would be done presenting and I was talking about the dream. And I would always say, you know, at some point in your life, your family or your friends or someone that you love is either going to need your time or your money or maybe even both. And can you do that at your current state? And if you can't, it's great because you're identifying I'm here and I need to get to this point over here. And you got to start taking those steps. So you might have all the money in the world, but you don't have enough time and that's got to shift. Or maybe you have a lot of time and no money. That's called being broke. And so we need to shift that. But I will say this, time freedom and financial freedom allow you when married together, allow you to create memories where you don't have to rush back. You don't have to go back to a job. Your boss isn't calling on you. I didn't need to rush home after the Super Bowl. I stayed in San Diego with my buddy and his family an extra day while my wife and kids actually flew home on Super Bowl Sunday, right? And I got to fly home and see them Monday night. And it was just, it was the way we design our life. And if there's one thing that I learned over the years, over this last 15 years, from when I got out of the Marine Corps, when I was broke eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to get by and 40 grand in debt, like I learned over the last 15 years that these principles that I just shared with you today are some of the foundational principles that allowed me to be able to accelerate to where I am and also more importantly, where I'm going. And the reason being is because we were looking at seats and yeah, we were 26 rows from the field. We had epic seats, but I started looking that there was box, like these boots. I don't know. They were like as big as this room with like four chairs in there and Pete waiter and waitresses. And I'm like, we're like, how much were those tickets? Why we need to get those next Super Bowl, right? And so we're already planning for the next Super Bowl because we know the Eagles are going to be in it. But, um, but yeah, it's like what it's stretching. It's like, I look at those chair. I look at those people that were in those box seats and I'm like, hmm, I'm not comparing us, but I look at that as a competition, right? I'm looking at it as that's a first class experience. Like I thought we had a first class experience is like a first class plus one experience, right? And so I started thinking like, oh wow, what would that memory be like? Plus, if you guys didn't know, I broke my wrist, I'm still waiting for a cast, and I'm sitting there, you know, in the 26th row with people around me trying to protect my wrist from getting bumped. I'm like, man, if I was in one of those boxes there, I wouldn't have to worry at all. So nothing happened, everything was awesome. It was an awesome experience. Take these three financial freedom lessons and apply them for you because the Super Bowl just ingrained it a layer deeper, but also stretched me. I got to see some famous people while we were at the Super Bowl and I started thinking like, man, what do I need to do to get there to them? And so it's like, let's go out in the marketplace. Let's not com let's not uh, compare ourselves. Let's go out there and compete. Let's go out there and lean into the hard, challenging times that we need and the difficult times that we all have in business or on the path to financial freedom. Lean into that. Create memories. Create first class experiences because I promise you, when you start to get into that first class experience, you start to identify as someone who belongs there all the time, not just once in a while, but all the time. And the more you do that, you condition that identity for who you truly are, because I believe God called us to be successful. He's given each of us a talent that we have, that we can go out there in the marketplace even, and be able to help other people and help a lot of people. You just gotta discover what that is. And if you need help here at Master Life by Design, we can help you, we can put you with one of our coaches or even work with myself so that we can help discover what that looks like for you so that you can get on the path of your purpose and all, all and automatically start to lean into your gifts and accelerate the prosperity that's supposed to be in your life. 
And if you believe, well, that's not me, I don't think I have anything to offer to the world, I call BS on it because every one of us were made with greatness inside of us. Somewhere along the line, you've conditioned yourself or maybe you were socially conditioned to say you weren't. And I'm here to call you out on it. So with that, I'm gonna share with you a couple videos that I had from this Super Bowl so you guys can see the first class experience that it was. And then from there, I hope that if you're looking to break the barriers that are in your life, please reach out at support at at masterlifebydesign.com so we can connect you with a coach and that you can be able to accelerate your path to financial freedom. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and a comment below. Enjoy, guys. See you.